this is my life. This is how I like to live it. The nomadic lifestyle. I've lived in stick of brick homes. I've lived in many, many different places. But I always come back to nature. The nomadic lifestyle. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> I was, um, I heard thunder a little bit ago and I was looking around waiting for the rain. I mean, it rains all the time. It rained almost all day yesterday. It was gloomy all day, no sun. Um, my solar wasn't getting it, so it's telling me, well, my bird is telling me, hello, hello, feed me, feed me. So hopefully I'll have enough sun today to feed it. Um, yeah, but I had a cook inside, and uh, I made some spaghetti and chicken and cheese and all that good stuff mixed together, and oh, the, the chicken was canned chicken, and it was, they had uh, lemon pepper sauce in it, so of course, I drained it out, because I don't want all that extra liquid, and I thought, you know, this is not going to taste good. But it was so good. I got to buy another can. It was just too good. <laughs> uh, see, I had to take a picture of my food. It was good. It was good. Somebody asked me also if I wouldn't mind showing my dehydrated food and all. Um... I wouldn't mind. I really wouldn't, except for one thing. Um, okay, I've been a prepper for a long time, and I'm not preparing for just for today, but I'm preparing for what might happen. And as a prepper, I do not want to show what I have. I can tell you I have it, but I don't want to show what I have. No disrespect, really, um, but it's just, it's almost like a, uh, a rule that I have. Um, even my best friend, she has not seen my dehydrated food, and she has some too, but I, she has not seen mine. Um, but I can tell you, I mean, what it, there's all kinds of vegetables in there. Uh, vegetables are very essential, so I do have vegetables. Um, and, and the thing about dehydrating, you know, you could do so much with it. You can dehydrate, and of course, it lasts like forever. But like, I have dehydrated garlic and grinded and have powdered garlic powder. I've done the same thing with tomatoes. Um, you know, you can, a lot of these things when you dehydrate, you can go ahead and put it in the grinder and you have it as a powder where you can mix it in your food for extra flavoring. But, um, uh, I'm sorry, once again, I, I don't show what I have because I have to protect myself. And anybody that's a prepper that is prepping for what might come, and every day it seems like it might, uh, they don't show it. Um, so I do apologize. Anyway... I uh, hope I can go get my luggage rack today because yesterday I got a notice saying that because of severe weather, um, they weren't delivering it. Today, that he, it was in Jacksonville yesterday. Today it's in Tallahassee, and that's not that far away. 
It doesn't say out for delivery yet, but it's still early. But hopefully it's delivered today. Because when I go there, what I'm going to do, I don't know how it, if they're going to have it in a box or not because it's big. But I'm going to go ahead and put it, hitch it right up right there at the post office and uh, cut the box up and throw it in a dumpster if it's in a box. <laughs> but anyway, um, I hope it's there today. I've got to take a shower before I go, and the Campos, even though he offered me the ability to take a shower in his van, which has a tub, maybe four feet long, not very wide, uh, in there, <coughs> it made, makes me kind of uncomfortable. I know he doesn't live it and he lives in his trailer, but no matter what, it makes me uncomfortable. But he, I know that the bathrooms, they lock, the doors lock. So um, he said I could take a shower in there because it's at a slant, the water will drain out. So I don't have to worry about it. And I think I'll take him up on that. That sounds good to me. Anyway, there's not a whole lot to talk about today. Um, everything's been fine except for the rain 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 so i think i'll say till tomorrow love y'all hugs peace <laughs>